There's also this back here at home. A Christmas tradition is canceled in California. All right, Harley, are the kids ready? Are we ready to ready? kick off the countdown? Five, Five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Happy holidays, Happy holidays. California! Governor Newsom moved the public Christmas tree lighting event online over planned pro-Palestine protests. It would have featured business stands and concert performances, but instead was a pre-recorded live stream in the entire state capitol building lawn where the tree is located has been blocked off. Jessica Milan Patterson is the California chairwoman of the GOP, and she joins me now. Good morning to you. What do you think about the governor canceling this event and moving it online? Well, it was the governor that kept kids on Zoom school for longer than any other state in the nation. We shouldn't really be surprised that he wanted to move this to a virtual tree lighting ceremony. This is a tradition that dates back to the 1930s. And it's also not the first time that Gavin Newsom had a hard time standing up to pro-Hamas terrorist um, protesters. We just saw last month at the California Democrat Party's convention where pro-Hamas protesters shut the event down. And we've yet to hear anything from this governor on standing with our, our partner Israel. We just heard those heart-wrenching stories coming out of our number one ally. And Gavin Newsom has been silent about the Democrat socialists in his party that have been pushing this agenda. Well, I'm sure that some of the folks that are most upset about this, they, it's got to be the small business owners that could have seen a lot of foot traffic and made a lot of money because of this event. And now that it was canceled, that probably didn't happen. Have you heard from any of them? Absolutely. You know, when we have these community events, and it's getting tougher and tougher in places like Sacramento, because of the rise in crime, because of these pro-criminal policies that California Democrats have championed, and Governor Newsom has actually signed many of these policies into action, these small businesses are already hurting. So when a large event like this gets canceled, it's really detrimental to the businesses. Well, Governor Newsom did say that the reason he canceled this is because he wants to make sure everybody stays safe. Do you think he has a point there if this uh, tree lighting were to take place and a protest happened, how would you make sure that it didn't get out of hand? Well, I think that's why we have to stand with our law enforcement, which is yeah. something that he fails to do as well. He's constantly coming down on the side of criminals. We deserve a governor that is going to stand up to the radical left. And Governor Newsom has proved time and time again that he's not willing to do that. This isn't someone that should get that promotion that he's so desperately seeking to go to the White House. Yeah, and I'm sure that the protesters themselves would consider this a win because they can say, look what we did. We just threatened a protest and this whole big event was shut down. Do you think that this could lead to more protests and then more events being shut down? I think what we're seeing across our country and, and specifically here in California, across college campuses and these different communities, big public events that have been longstanding traditions, it's really showing what is happening um, because of this Democrat socialist agenda. The far and absolutely regressive side, and you're seeing the, the views of what happened at their convention, this shut down their convention event. And we can't get our governor to stand up and say, this is wrong. We need to stand yeah. with our ally in Israel. That is a very sad state of affairs. Well, the tree is lit. And if you want to see it, you could watch it on Facebook. It kind of feels like 2020 all over again. Jessica Milan Patterson, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.